Autocorrect is a feature in Microsoft Word where the software attempts to help you by correcting what it believes is a common mistake. These features can be useful, but they can also be a real problem, especially when you don't realize what Microsoft Word is doing and it keeps changing things on you in unexpected ways. To avoid the feeling that Microsoft Word has a mind of its own, it's best to review the various autocorrect options and choose the ones that will help you with your writing and disable the ones that will hinder. So be very specific to what you need. Um, for this demonstration, I'll first launch the autocorrect options and then I'll show you how to modify them to best suit your needs um, and I'll talk a little bit about some of the features. So for starters, in Word for Windows, um, they've sort of hidden the autocorrect options for you this, this time. So now it's under File and it's under Options. Okay, and then under proofing of all places. Now what's interesting here is some of them are here and some of them are actually within the autocorrect. So let's take a look at some of the key ones in here. If you use a lot of acronyms, you probably want to ignore words that are in uppercase. Um, if you use a lot of internet addresses, you probably don't want to spell check your internet addresses. Um, you, you may not want to um, spell check words that contain numbers, for example flag repeated words that's interesting depending on your language for example in French you don't want to flag repeated words because you often have them um, there you know so these again all of these sort of depend on what how you are going to use the system so you can decide which ones of these are the most useful for you let's pop over into the autocorrect in particular um, there's some in here that I'm going to recommend right away that you turn off. A lot of the automatic auto formatting, I'm going to recommend that you turn those off. Um, we'll deal with that more in the styles chapter, um, but they mess up the styles, um, so you definitely don't want to do that. Ones you want to might want to think about if you're only presenting your document in print all the time, then you may want to turn off the internet and network paths with hyperlinks, because what this does is the minute you get to the end of your your uh, you know http colon slash slash and you put in your, your URL once you put the space at the end of it it automatically turns that into a hyperlink um, with the blue and the underline and if you're going to be printing your document you probably don't want that to be blue and underlined um, so you may want to turn that feature off um, one that people generally like two hyphens to get an m dash that's a very handy feature okay let's pop over into autocorrect in autocorrect now there's a bunch here that I'm gonna turn off because I don't like two capitals I like to control how I do my capitalization um, so first letter of sentences I turn this one off because I use lots of words like mlearn and elearn in sentences and if it starts the sentence with mlearn I still need a lowercase m um, first letter of table cells again don't like that one um, and accidental use of, of caps locks. Now I'm going to show you the replace with as you type because this is, some of these are really handy and you can see some of them that are already programmed so if you do uh, open bracket C close bracket when you hit the space you'll automatically get your copyright icon and then there's a bunch of them that are just common spelling mistakes um, where people you know you forget the space you put the, the in the wrong place or whatever. If you have common spelling errors or something that you often make a mistake and you want word to replace it for you you can put it in here directly replace um, you put the value of what you do wrong there and the value of what you do right here so that's very handy sort of feature math autocorrect if you are doing a lot of mathematics um, or using a lot of formulas this is kind of useful what's kind of nice I like is like backslash alpha to get an alpha character that type of thing can be really handy um, auto format as you type again a couple of these ones are things to think about first of all I don't apply automatic anything um, because I find that if it does it automatically then I'm not sure what word is doing and I want to be in control so I turn that off so um, the exception to that rule is the format beginning of list like the one before it because I tend to use a style that involves bolding before the period in a list and then not bolding afterwards and it's kinda nice that word will figure that out for me um, but the rest of it I, I generally do turn off and they look at this the internet the internet with network pass with hyperlinks is in here again so it's in more than one place and this one is in here in more than one place so I'm gonna turn it on in there um, and I think that is it so once I've done making the changes I'm gonna make I just click OK here I click OK here and I've now officially updated my autocorrect options